When internal emails appeared in July, seeming to show favoritism for Hillary Clinton over Bernie Sanders among members of the Democratic National Committee, it threw the presidential election for a loop, leading to the resignation of DNC Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Investigators and private cybersecurity firms have said the highly sophisticated teams behind the DNC server breach are two hacking groups that it calls Cozy Bear and Fancy Bear. Private investigators say both have links to Russian government and intelligence entities, and Russian hackers are considered to be among the best in the world. While it's incredibly difficult to tie hackers to foreign governments, cybersecurity experts say the methods and evasion techniques of Cozy Bear and Fancy Bear are consistent with the capabilities of a nation state, and their extensive attacks on national security targets mirror the strategic interests of the Russian government. Russia has denied involvement in the hacking. Investigators believe Cozy Bear breached White House networks, the State Department, and the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff in the past. And Fancy Bear has been suspected of targeting the aerospace, military, government, and media sectors, including in the United States. As for the DNC breach, private investigators think Cozy Bear hacked into their servers in summer 2015, and Fancy Bear followed in April 2016. Here's where the story takes another twist. After media reports came out in June 2016 linking the DNC hack to Russia-linked Cozy Bear and Fancy Bear, an online persona named Guccifer 2.0 emerged claiming credit for the DNC email leak. Guccifer 2.0 claims to be Romanian and claims to have acted alone with no connections to Russia. Private investigators challenge those claims and suspect Guccifer 2.0 may be part of a Russian denial and deception effort to deflect security. They say the alleged hacker's digital footprints led to French internet protocol addresses, which in turn pointed back to a Russian virtual private network service provider. In the end, not everyone is convinced the case of the DNC breach is cracked. The private email trove was released by WikiLeaks, which doesn't divulge where or from whom it gets its documents. At least one expert believes that the break-in could be the work of political insiders in the U.S. trying to disguise their handiwork behind Russian hackers. But if Russian hackers are in fact behind the DNC breach, what's alarming to U.S. officials is the possibility that the Kremlin may be getting more aggressive about trying to sway the U.S. political process and potentially undermining American democracy 